So here's an update about my Megazords. Uh, let's see, so today what came in the mail was air canisters. I know it sounds ridiculous, but um, I know uh, with with a couple of videos that um, I saw, um, you can use the air canisters to go through the crevices within the Megazord to dry it off. So I'm gonna use, so that finally came in today and I'm gonna be using it oh so thusly after I wash, give my, my, my Zords a good washing and get a nice thing squeaky clean. Uh, shopping update. I did buy today the the Gal Condor Zord, um, an extra one, just so that I can finally repurpose one of those things and use it as uh, give it a, a black paint job and and call it the Gal Vulture. So I've been uh, been happy that I actually bought that thing. And I can't wait until it finally shows up. Um, it uh, it doesn't have the tail accessory that it usually comes with, which I'm okay with. It it doesn't really need. If anything, I know a guy that does make uh, Megazord parts. So if uh, if you're interested in that, just uh, leave a comment below, and then I'll I'll see what I can do. Lastly, we have one final special update. Me and my boyfriend got together to try some of the cleaning products that I recently bought. Um, him and I are just as equally and enthusiastic with Power Rangers and um, we only are centered around our, uh, our favorite seasons. I'm more focused on Wild Force. His is the OG original Mighty Morphin, so he has a great collection. Um, he has uh, both, um, both the collect, uh, both the Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord, uh, and the Dragon Zord, and and what's special about those two is they're they're the Soul of Chokogin uh, editions. So, yeah, I actually saw them for the very first time today. Those things are real good and I love the quality on them they were like my boyfriend said they were they were heavy <laughs> surprise surprise so um so he has that collection he also has the legacy ninja zord um he's st he is collecting as well the ninja falcon zord and he also wants to take a look at using uh if he wants to collect the legacy thunder zords and he is looking for the soul of chokogen titanus zord so yeah um so back to the cleaning supplies now i mentioned my boyfriend's collection because again um oh the power sword toy accessory that that was used for the Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord. Uh, the sword that came with the power sword that came with it, it had, like I said, they had heavy oxidation on it, and it didn't look as nice and pretty as it's supposed to be. So today, me and him got together to try to test it out, test our um, test my cleaning supplies that I per recently purchased on that thing. So what we did, what we used was, um, well, I recently bought the Novus, the Novus set. Um, I mostly bought it for the green and uh, the green and red bottles, just because um, for the scratch remover. However, it did came with the pl uh, with the plastic clean and shine. So hey, why not give it a try? So there was that, and then. Um, one of the YouTubers I subscribe, uh, MMPR Toys, um, the channel recommended me to buy Brilliant Eyes. Um, I know he most, uh, I know this was mostly used to polish, but it says here, plastic cleaner, one step cleaner and polish. It cleans, polishes, and protects. So, um, since it's a cleaner, I might as well give it a try. And so... And the last cleaning product that I purchased from from my local AutoZone, I purchased 
this, I don't know if you can see it from the reflection of the product, it's called White Diamond. Um, it's a metal polish remover, uh, metal polish um, with long lasting sealant. Uh, it says here, removes oxidation and discoloration from aluminum, brass, chrome, steel, ret returning surface to a brilliant shine. It also works great on discolored headlights. Now, now you're, now this is mostly used for, um, for auto, auto related products and for cars and such so you're probably wondering baby and why did you buy a product like that uh, that's only for cars you have toys that you need to clean not cars so you're right you're right you you have a point there but um the idea came when i was looking up youtube videos and scouring the internet on google about how to remove oxidation from my toys um, I, there was a couple of things, one recommended, um, using Lime Away, which I was a little iffy about, but, eh. another was, um, uh, using electro, um, electro polishing or electro cleaning, which, one, I don't got the money to build one of those things, and two, mm, I don't want to destroy my toys through electrical currents or what uh, whatnot so I didn't trust it completely and three I don't have the patience or science mind to build such a thing so I, I was looking for other alternatives um, I mean there's natural ways like using lemon potatoes whatnot so I stumbled upon a video that was a polish that was a car polish heavy polish metal and I know that that product was mostly used for auto metal related, so. But when I saw the video and it was cleaning a uh, metal pail and it looked really nice and clean. So I just had the idea, hmm, why don't I buy a car cleaning supply? I mean, cars and toys have the same thing they have they're related to each other i mean cars are are made of plastic and they have metal rims uh mine my toys i mean yeah they're the same thing plastic toys and some of them have die cast metal on it so i thought why the heck i give it a try so i went to my autos my local auto zone place here and um, one of the associ associates there actually assisted me and asked me and recommended me this product. And so I thought, let's just give it a go. Um, today, I finally got to test all of these products. Um, so I'll review, I'll tell the story and review this, review them one step at a time. So. So here's my review on the product. So one for the Novus cleaning, um, it did its job. It cleaned, but not as deep as I wanted. Again, um, especially on my boyfriend's uh, power sword accessory, it had oxidation on it, um, and this product was supposed to help with that. I mean, it did. It did clean, clean the product well. But, again, yeah, probably if it, you gave it a little more elbow grease or over time as you keep on cleaning it, it would eventually get rid of it. But that was not the instant clean that I was looking for. So I don't recommend it. I don't recommend this product to, to clean if it's something heavy. Maybe if it's something minor, you can clean it. You can clean something minor, small, some small things uh, that doesn't have heavy oxidation on it. So that that's um, it's still good. I still recommend it for cleaning and polishing, uh, especially polishing. It did shine very nicely. Um, let's see. And then the next one uh, that I uh, tried out was the Brilliant Eyes Plastic Cleaner. Again, just like the Novus. Um, it cleaned, 
but not as what I originally attended just because it still had oxidation on the product. So, uh, so no to that. Um, and lastly, I bought Well, again, one more thing is just brilliant eyes. Again, good polisher. It's a good cleaner if it's something minor and not something heavy. Uh, now, lastly, this bad boy right here. We tried it on the Soul of Ch Chokogen Power Sword on uh, Sword. As soon as I used that thing on that Power Sword, my goodness. It was coming off like an eraser. Seriously, buy this if you need to deoxidize your collection. Cause my goodness, this is miracle stuff right here. The, if you need to restore your diecast metals and it and it has like really bad oxidation on it, I recommend this. Buy this. Buy this. And again, it works on discolored headlights, meaning it works on plastics because headlights use like the exterior, it's made out of plastic, so it will not harm your toy will not harm your plastic toys. So yes, get it, get it, get it, get it. I highly recommend it. Actually, I'm gonna show you a little a little trial video on using this, okay? So if you hold on just one moment, let me get my things and I am gonna show you how this stuff works. Okay, so I have my cleaning supplies ready to go. I have my white diamond metal polish right here. And I have my rag. I mean, uh, I know I, I do highly recommend uh, you use a microfiber cloth just in case you really are particular not to scratch your toys um, or your collection. Uh, for me, I'm just going to use this ordinary rag just so that um, just for a trial run uh, the real thing of course I'm gonna I, I'm gonna clean it really really nice and not scratch it but this is just to test it out so you can see the difference and here is my gal shark sword that I'm gonna be polishing notice how oxidated it is it's not as shiny as it should I mean I don't know if you can see but even the paint looks faded not so pleasant there's some water spots here this side you can definitely see so i'm probably and right here not as clean as it should oh you could even see something right there so i'm probably just gonna clean this side that way you can actually see the difference i'm gonna put painter tape on this side and then i'm gonna clean this side so here we go all right let's get started i'm telling you guys this product is amazing all right of course direction says shake it because it does separate so shake it shake it shake really well now because these are toys i am aware that this is probably mostly used for automobiles again small amounts that way you can test it out yourself i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put a lot I'm just gonna put a little, just enough, so so you can see the difference. But when when I really gonna clean my toys, I'm gonna put a lot. I'm gonna use a lot. So so it, supposedly so that it's a white liquid. Supposedly is vanilla scented. Little, but it still smells like like car. So here I go. Okay, I'm almost done. Just going over the crevices of this sword. Go over them with detail. Uh, yeah, I have to. I had to take it apart just because uh, some of the product seeped in through the crevices. I mean, it, it it's not gonna harm the toy, but. Um, I just wanted to get uh, make sure I got every spot off but as you can see 
look how clean that is. So this left side is, it was wiped off with the white diamond metal polish. And this right side right here uh, has not been cleaned. If anything, I just uh, gave it a soap and water. I mean, I used Dawn to clean up just in case, uh, just to give it that uh, extra clean, uh, remove any residue left behind because it is kind of slimy. But um, other than that, yeah, look at that beauty. So this is the left side, clean, right side, it's oxidated. And as you can tell, ooh, look at that, it's sparkly. So you can, you notice, you can even notice the difference right here. Like the left side and the right side. Yeah. Again, left side is clean. Right side is before. Left side is, so yeah. This is the before, this is after. And you can really tell. I I love the results. I mean, it's, it's up there and this is something good. I mean, it's, there's still some spots, but um, but this stuff works instantly, so I highly recommend it. So I did try the white diamond metal polish on White Tiger. Um, so, uh, not a lot, just a little. Um, it does polish, and I was testing it out to see if I can clean the plastic, and, and sure enough, it, it actually did. Um, I know, uh, I cleaned this side. And I, I don't know if you noticed the difference. I know this side is a little darker than this one. Um, one thing I do want to comment is just be careful when you rub because especially on the paint, it will remove the paint. So I'm not too worried about that just because I know I'm going to go back and do a paint job on some of these things because some of the... Some of their paint it has been old, removed, faded, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna paint them uh, later. So. so so yeah, that's just one tip when you use the white diamond metal polish. Just careful with the painted areas. Well, that was it for today. So I hope you enjoyed uh, my vlog for today. Uh, catch it next time. So have a good night. Later's bye.